Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous classes guys, we have studied some informative functions. And now in today's class, we will learn more about some more informative functions. So here are the topics guys, which we are going to cover in today's class. So let's start with this is in scope function. So let's go to the Microsoft reference page to understand the definition. So it returns the true when the specified column is in the level in a hierarchy of level. So this function guys is really useful when we have a hierarchy level of data. Now look at the parameter guys. So let me scroll it down guys. So here we can see the example. So this time guys, it is really difficult to understand how they have used this example. But I will definitely try to cover this in a simple way. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and go here in practical page. So this is the same table guys which we have created in previous video. And here are the functions guys which we have covered in previous classes. So let me drag and drop this isFilter function here. So under isFilter functions guys, we have taken country column as a direct filter. So it representing true here because we have a country column here in table visual. If I remove this column from here, so here we can see guys, it returns false result. So now let me simply drag and drop this country column here. And now it is getting true. And now let's create one simple example of in scope function. So let's go here in new measure. And I will rename this measure as in scope. And simply I will write my DAX function, which is is in scope. And I will take column name as a country which is from the sales table and close the bracket. So here is our measure guys. Let me drag and drop it here. So here we can see guys, it is getting the same result, which is true. So what is the difference guys between is filter and is in scope? So guys, if I click here into the slicer, let's say USA. So here we can see guys, it is getting the true result, but it is getting false. So this is the only difference guys between is filtered and is in scope. And now guys, let's understand this function with hierarchy level. So I have opened one more Power BI desktop where I have taken category, subcategory and product name. You guys can also see the data set from here. So here is the products guys, you can see here, here are the products name and here are the product category, which is audio, video and so on. And here are some product subcategories, which is MP4 and MP3, recorder, radio and so on. So in such kind of data set, this function is really useful. And let's go here in new measure and see how to apply in scope in hierarchy level data set. Go here in new measure. And let me replace this measure name as is in scope. And now I will write one variable function here. So guys, I have not made any video on variable, but in upcoming classes, guys, I will create one separate video on variable functions. For now only you need to only understand how we will use in scope. So I am creating variable here. So my variable name is amount equal to and now I will write calculate under calculate guys I will use sum of total sales so here you can see guys I have already created separate measure of sum of sales so I will simply enter measure name which is sum of sales and close the bracket and now I will press shift enter and in return guys I will use switch true function here. So this function I have also not covered, but I will cover in upcoming classes. Now I will use true comma and again I will press shift enter. So for now only we need to understand guys, switch true function is work like a if condition. And now I will write my is in scope function. So under is in scope guys, we need to set the hierarchy. Here you can see guys, the first one is product, then subcategory, then category. So firstly, I will use product name in column. 
which is from the product table and close the bracket and if you guys see the next parameter of switch function the parameter is value 1 comma so we can skip this parameter and now I will write result 1 which is amount so guys I am using variable here so that we don't need to write the formula sum of sales again and again that's why I am writing variable here comma now I will enter shift plus enter and again I will take is in scope and this time I will take subcategory which is again from the subcategory table and close the bracket and comma and result 2 guys I want to divide this with amount by 1000 comma and now I will enter third parameter which is is in scope and I will take category this time which is from the product category table and close the bracket and the third result is I want to divide this amount with 10,000 and close the bracket and hit enter so guys we have created is in scope measure and now let me drag and drop it here so here we can see guys wherever the value is in million it is representing 4.71 which is divided by 10,000 and wherever the value is in thousand it is divided by thousand so in this way guys we can use this is in scope function and this total is blank guys because we haven't add any else condition here so let me simply go here in is in scope measure and create one more condition so now I will put comma here and simply use divide function here and I want to divide amount with let's suppose 1 lakh and close the bracket so now here we can see the answer guys so guys if we have such kind of data set in that kind of scenario is in score function is very really useful to manipulate the data so do more practice guys so that you guys can able to understand this is in scope so we have simply used switch function here just like a if condition and under this function we have used is in scope so that we can see the data in a better way I hope guys now you have clear understanding about is in scope function now let's back to the power bi desktop so guys our next dax function is is text so let's go to the reference page guys so under is text definition says guys if a value is a text it returns true or false so this is very easy to use just go here in power bi desktop and go to practical page let me uncheck this guys and now I will take one new measure go here in new measure and now I will use is text so let me write my measure name which is is text and let's suppose this time I will take total sales and close the bracket and now let me search my formula name which is is text and drag and drop it here it returning false result because our value is integers and as per the definitions guys value is text then it returns true else false and now move towards the next topic of our today's class which is is non text so this is totally opposite to the is text simply go here in new measure guys and I will use is non text and now I will write my DAX function which is is non text and again I am taking total sales here in values and close the bracket and let me search my formula which is is non text so guys these values are non text that's why displaying true and if you read the definitions guys here so here we can see if a value is non text or a blank cells it returns true else false if value is blank cells guys it will also displays as true I hope guys you are clear with the difference of is text or is non text and now let's move to the next dax functions of our today's class which is is logical so let's go to the reference page and here definition says guys check whether a value is a logical value true or false and return true or false 
that means if our value is true or false then they will only display true result else false so now let's check with the practical guys go here in power bi desktop and simply create one measure here so my measure name is is logical and now i will apply my dax function which is is logical and let's suppose i will take this is non tax dax function under this value and close the bracket so let me search my measure name here which is is logical and simply drag and drop it here so here we can see guys it returning true because here data is in true or false if i replace this measure with total sales guys then it will return false because they are not a true false data so here we can see guys our result is false so i hope guys now you have clear understanding about is logical and now we will study the last topic of our today's class which is is number so it is also returning true or false whether a value is a number guys then they will only return true else false so go here in new measure and my measure name is is number and now i will write my dax formula which is is number so here i am taking total sales again and close the bracket and now let me search my measure name which is is number and let me drag and drop it here so here we can see guys it result is true because if a value is number it returning true else false so here values are number so i hope guys you have cleared with all the dax functions which we have covered in today's class and those who are new to this channel please kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press bell icon else you will miss an update and if anyone wants to learn power bi from scratch so here is a youtube channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham and under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail you guys can easily learn power bi through this channel and for job seekers guys we have this telegram channel where i am keep posting latest jobs opening of power bi and group members are also sharing latest interview questions and answers and scenario based questions so you guys can also join this telegram group and the last thing guys i am also providing paid assistance if anyone wants paid training sessions you guys can connect me on linkedin linkedin link and telegram channel link is given under the description below and guys we also have one more platform to connect with us where you guys can take personal one on one session just a nominal fee you guys can ask their query on video calls so you guys can also connect with us from topmate thank you so much guys for your more love and support keep learning keep growing and please spread this channel in your network thank you so much